The richness of the fiber that unites DeKalb County today is due to African-American community builders such as Decatur's first African-American mayor, Elizabeth Wilson. The Greensboro, Georgia native was a catalyst for change in DeKalb County. Her accomplishments are too many for a short video, but if we focus our lens on a time before she became mayor, when she pushed the DeKalb community towards integration in its libraries and schools, you will see the vision, patience, and perseverance of Elizabeth Wilson that sparked change throughout our county. Born in 1931 in rural segregated Georgia, Miss Wilson lived with an education system designed to function as separate but equal but it was very unequal. She reflects, the white kids would often call us names and when we got to our school, our books were secondhand or hand-me-downs. Wilson moved to Decatur, Georgia to work as a nanny for a doctor. She married and had four children. As she built a life in DeKalb County, she began to resist the injustice of segregation. She joined the Georgia Council on Human Relations. First, Wilson led an effort with GCHR allies to get a library card from the then segregated DeKalb County Public Library System in 1962. It just made sense that our children should have access to the library. A group of us ladies, two white and two black, decided to test the waters. In spite of the nervousness of the library staff and patrons, Wilson received the application and returned to accept the first library card for an African American in DeKalb County. Around the same time, Wilson began a relationship with Decatur Schools. She wanted a summer school for her eldest son in DeKalb. The pregnant Wilson and her friends visited the superintendent, Dr. Carl Renfro, and pleaded their case, refusing to leave without a proposal to present at the school board. Dr. Renfro granted the proposal and a summer school began at the all-black school in Decatur schools. With enormous white resistance for preserving segregation, Decatur schools integrated. Despite the concerns for the safety of integrating class of students, Wilson helped her son Richard become one of the first 20 student pioneers. Sure, Elizabeth said, there was name calling, but at the end of the day, the world had changed and they were a part of a new era. This new era would lead to many crucial changes in DeKalb County, including Mayor Wilson's election in 1993. But this new era began when trailblazing community members and parents like Wilson resisted injustice and segregation.